It's Simon Munnery. Thank you very much. Good evening. I've been on the road for 30 years, so excuse me while I slap on the fake smile and go through this shit again. <laughs> Bill Hicks joke originally, American comedian Bill Hicks. He used to start his act by going, I've been on the road for 10 years, so excuse me while I slap on the fake smile and go through this shit again. Thing is, he never actually slapped on a fake smile. <laughs> I've taken that joke, taken it one little step further. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> and he's dead. Well, how lovely to be here, ladies and gentlemen. OK, let's play Musical Statues. You're good. <laughs> You're all through to the second round. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Slight movement of the head, there we are. So, uh, I broke my finger uh, recently, roller skating, for the first and last time. It was my youngest daughter's sixth birthday. She wanted to go roller skating. I said, I'll come, I'll watch, I'll help. But I don't want to do it because of what happened when I went ice skating for the first and last time. <laughs> Basically, I can walk. That's how I got here, you might have seen. Um, my theory is, why put things on your feet that make that harder? <laughs> I was persuaded. They said, no, roller skating's different from ice skating. The other thing is, I've got nerve damage, right, in this arm. I can grip with this hand, right, but I can't, I can't do that. Well, obviously, I can do that. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that with this hand. Uh, doesn't really restrict me, to be honest. <laughs> Unless I'm at one of those extreme right-wing meetings. You know. <laughs> you know, we have to salute the two Hitlers. <laughs> it's just like a mocking one. <laughs> anyway, they said, no, roller skating's different from ice skating. It's the same. So, but the same thing happens when I went ice skating the first and last time. In that, I had the skates on. Right? I was holding onto the side. An adult went past on skates, and I thought, oh, it is possible. <laughs> Come on, give it a go. And I pushed off, and I remember thinking to myself, actually, this isn't so... That was it. Bang. <laughs> broke my finger, this little finger here. And what they do these days, if you break a finger, they don't put it in plaster like they used to. What they do these days is they strap it to the next one so it can learn. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise they don't do it with the unemployed. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> life is unfair and always has been. My great grandfather, for example, he killed 28 Germans single handed. Did he get a medal? No. He was a coach driver. <laughs> it, it was 1952. <laughs> what a difference seven years make. <laughs> it's a joke there, do another one at the end. Tell you makes me smile. Bono. Just his name. Hello, Bono. <laughs> it's got an internal rhyme to it. I'd love to meet him. Hello, Bono. <laughs> it's almost worth moving somewhere near he lives. You could wave to him and go, hello, Bono. <laughs> I know he, he says it's Bono. It's not how you spelt it, mate, is it? <laughs> That'd be a double N in the middle. No, you're Bono. <laughs> yeah, like the dog biscuits, yeah. <laughs> no, forever. It's too late. <laughs> Nothing against him. I find him a bit irritating, you know, Bono. I enjoy his name, just saying it, but, you know, he's, a, he's in that band, you know, U2 Biquitous. <laughs> uh, on the new album, like, we're stripping it right back to basics. It's just the four of us in a room, me jerking off into a cup and the others clapping or humming, depending. <laughs> I've, I've nothing against him, particularly. So I just find him a bit irritating. But he was on TV, he was being interviewed. I wasn't even watching it, particularly. He was in interview, but during the interview, it transpired, I discovered a thing about Bono, which I didn't know before, is the reason he wears dark glasses. Every time you see Bono, he's always got dark glasses on. The reason he wears dark glasses, it turns out, is because he's got glaucoma, right? And I'd always thought it was because he was a prick. <laughs> turns out he is a prick, but for different reasons. <laughs> he could have come out years ago as a glaucoma sufferer, helped other glaucoma sufferers simply by being a famous person who got glaucoma, but no, he's too busy with Africa. <laughs> Still, puts his songs into perspective, doesn't it, you know? Still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> you know why, mate, don't you? You know why? <laughs> Where the streets have known... they got names. <laughs> they have got names. <laughs> uh, I leave you with this, ladies and gentlemen. I leave you with this thought. If you do just one thing today, that might not be enough. <laughs> God bless, good night.